Okay, everybody, we got Rook Aroraro. Please go ahead with questions. Hey, Rook, it's, it's David here from Tiger Net. I guess first question would be, you know, watching that defensive line out there on the sides, a lot of depth, a lot of talent. What's it like to be part of such a talented group? Uh, it's, it's real great, you know. So, like, you know, the ones run out there, the twos run out there, there's no drop off. We always getting after the quarterback and doing what we're supposed to do. It's just great, a real talented room. Uh, it's a very competitive room, you know. And competition always makes the room better. And, you know, just us getting better and better every day. Just it's, it's really great to be a part of the talent. I think everybody like loves Trey Williams. Uh, what was it like to see him get that first sack out there today and then have a little fun with it? It was, it was it was it was great. You know, a guy like Trey, he's he's a great player. He's agile, very athletic, and just seeing him, you know, coming off an injury from last season, he couldn't contribute to the team like he wanted to. Just coming out here and doing what he's supposed to do, you know, in a critical situation like that, and uh, you know, a young guy showing up like that just really shows how much potential and how great a player he is. It was, it was really exciting for me. But being on an opposing team, it wasn't as exciting. But you know, that's my boy. I got a chair. Alex Dodd from the Clemson Insider. How much growth have you seen from uh, this defensive line unit over the course of the spring? Uh, and how much have you seen personally in yourself over the I've seen so much growth from, uh, from Tyler to, to Brian to me to Trey to Darnell. You know, it's, it's just a lot of growth uh, for me personally, just getting healthy and being able to contribute and being out most of the season for my knee. And now that I feel good, I can go out there and play. And, you know, Brian uh, stepping up into that role now. He's not a freshman anymore. So now his expectations are higher. And uh, just seeing him go out there and dominate and do what he's supposed to do. And Tyler just being the leader he is and the great player he is. It's just it's great seeing all of us grow. And it's just been a lot of growth. Back in 2018, the year before you arrived on campus, people say that was one of the greatest defensive lines in history. Uh, you guys have had two years to grow now. Do you feel entering year three and a lot of these guys are entering their second, third years that this group can maybe approach that level of being dominant? Yeah, I do feel we have the potential to be a very dominant group and make our statement. You know, a lot of guys battling, battling a lot of things from injuries to not getting, you know, as much playing time and stuff like that. But I feel like the ceiling in this group is really high. And if we just keep grinding and putting the work, we'll be able to, you know, be, be dominant, leave our mark here. Any more questions? Yeah. What are some of the things that, that you personally are going to work on this summer, uh, you know, and hope to do better in fall camp to get ready for next year? Uh, me personally, my main goal is to just stay healthy and get healthy and just grow my knowledge in the game, step up into that leader role and uh, be able to, you know, help the young guys with whatever they need and just be, be out there for my teammates, you know, I'm a team player, and, uh, just anything I can do to help the team. That's why I need to be better, I need to become a better teammate and leader. Any more questions? Okay. Appreciate you. Thank you.